Hey guys, so today I thought I'd show you how to draw an eye, a human eye. So we're going to start with the top curve of the eye. So you just start with a shape, a curve line, just like that. And I'm doing this with a marker. You can do it with pencil or anything you happen to have handy. So you just start with the top, top curve of the eye there. And then we're going to go in and draw the tear duct. So it's a little curve like that. And then we curve the bottom part of the eye. Curve it around. Looks like that. So you'll have what kind of looks like a bit of a, a lemon or a skinny circle or something like that. So you can go in inside now and draw a pupil. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle or anything. I just color it in black. And then we're going to go around that for the iris, the color part of the eye. Try and get it as round as you can. Keep making little adjustments as you go, if you want to make it more circular. If some bits don't look perfect here, that's okay. You can always fix them. And there you go. So, outside the eye, pupil, iris. Now you just add a little curve there for the tear duct. And then there's an eye on top for eyelid. Just curves around. Just like that. A little line on the bottom. Like that. And then you can add some details inside the eye itself. So we can add some lines that go around in a circular way. So they're the the lines inside the colour part of the eye. Just add a little bit of detail. You can put some inside here going around in a circular way. Um, you could leave a, a shine, so you just draw a circle for a shine. Lots of different sorts of thicknesses and, and keep making the adjustments so there's a little bit of the eye sticking out here. I'm just going to fix that, try and make it more round. There's eyelashes and they grow out the top eyelid. So we have the basic shape here, you can see. Basic anatomy. And then the eyelashes sort of grow out in this sort of fashion. Curving up and around. And you can make them thicker or thinner, depending on if it's more of a male or female style. And then they all grow up. And they start to curve. As they come over this way, they'll change direction and go more this way then. Very simple. And then the ones on the bottom eyelid are usually thinner and smaller than the top. So, whoop. Just little ones. Sometimes they cross over, see, like that. And you're just doing little curved lines, like they're kind of like brackets or skinny letter C's or something. And you go, keep going all the way up like that. And now you can add. A line just here for it to indicate sort of a brow attached to a nose. So just a line there. And then a line there for the nose, just curving back that way. And then the brow usually attaches to an eyebrow, so you can start 
doing an eyebrow. It's like a just a curve above the eyelashes, higher or lower, depending on how you're feeling, what type of eyebrow you want to do. If you want a big hairy one, if you want like a defined one, it's not really important if you're just learning how to draw a basic eye, just any old shape will do. As long as it curves around, you want it to always curve around and then down. Like that. Now, so you can add some shade lines just sort of inside the eye. Add a bit of shadow just around. Now if you're doing this with pencil, you could you could shade with your you could smudge some of that. But if you're looking for more of an animation or cartoon line drawing style, you could just leave it like this. Get out a few more lines around the bottom here to indicate more of the eyelid. Some more. Keep adding little details as you feel and see. Now, now to make it, these things look nice, you can add a bit of colour. So if you wanted to add a bit of blue in the eye, you can. So it's a very simple sort of black line drawing. There's no um, no need to worry about shade or anything like that. The lines usually indicate different things, like shadow and direction of things. You can put some shade with a grey marker if you wanted inside the, the eye, just a few lines. So you're sort of sketching, moving your hand a lot, changing direction all around and it's sort of it's usually darker around the edges of the eye than inside the eye it's the round part of the eye itself sort of helps to give a bit of depth and if you want to if you want to get super detailed you can draw some pink vein type things Make him look a bit tired, I guess. <laughs> but sure, we'll see how it looks. It's always worth experimenting with these types of things. So there, that's a light pink for that. And then if you wanted, you could maybe do a little uh, peach sort of lines around. And you don't want to kill all the white because it's, you know, they'd be highlights. You know, so just lines around, following the basic shapes. You can put some in the eye if you wanted. Sometimes you can see sort of reflections of the color of the skin in the eye as well. And just underneath that. And usually eyelids might be a bit more pink than the surrounding harder skin on the face. And you just keep, oh, and the tear duct, that's like usually pink with a sort of a white highlight and maybe even some red in there might work well. And then just touch it up as you feel. So I'm just adding a bit more shading into the edge of that eye. Just with marker, I mean, it's not, there's no great blending going on. It's just using, trying to use line to add some shadow. I think it might be nearly done. I'm not quite sure. I never really know when these things are 
totally finished. Could probably keep going out around adding noses and things like that. Noses, one nose. You just, if you want to make them darker, just fill them in instead of making them liney or sketchy looking. And that's basic eye drawing. Don't forget, if you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe for more. Thanks.